Number 60, both graphite and diamond burn. And then they give us one formula. So this formula is for diamond, it's carbon. Basically just diamonds are just carbons, guys. And this will burn and produce CO2. And then they said for the conversion of graphite to diamond, they give us this formula, which uh, absorbs 1.90 kilojoules. Now the question is, which produces more heat? The combustion of graphite or the combustion of the diamond? Okay, so it looks like we just have to have two formulas here, right? We have to have combustion of graphite and combustion of diamond. So since they already gave me the combustion formula for diamond, and I know that this is a combustion formula because it's burning in air and one of the products is CO2. So they already gave me this part. So I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna say that I have C, and then I'm just gonna say D for diamond, okay? And then I'll put like C for G for graphite. So that's an O2. In this case, I don't care about the states of oxygen and the same thing for carbon dioxide. Let's find out how much heat is going to be produced when diamond combusts. Now I went back in the appendix of a textbook to get the numbers that we needed here. Chances are, whatever textbook you're using, go back. There's gotta be one appendix that has all the lists of the delta H values, and that's what we need here. So for diamond, uh, the delta H, which is the heat needed to produce a diamond, right, per one mole is 1.9 kilojoules. So I'm just gonna put 1.90 for this. Oxygen is zero, and then carbon dioxide uh, is a whopping negative 393.51. Now, how do we find a delta H for a reaction? It's a very simple formula. It's this one. Now, let me just maybe put it, I'll put it up here. So all it is is that if you want to find a delta H, it's just the sum of all the delta H's of the products minus the sum, this little symbol means sum, of all the delta H's of the reactants. So maybe what I should have done was, let's just switch up these colors, just so that they match the coloring of what's going on here. So uh, the diamond was 1.90, and then the oxygen was zero, and then I'm just going to change this to a red. Okay, so negative 393.51. So now, technically, if we have to find the sum of the products of the sum of the reactants, by theory, you should always multiply your numbers from the appendix values, right? The standard numbers by how many of each you have. But in this case, it's all just one, but I'll just say that, you know, you had to times it by one, you had to times it by one, you had to times it by one. And in this case, you just have to add the two numbers together, right? To get the sum of what's gonna be on the reactant side. So it's just going to be 1.90, right? And then this one would be still the negative 393.51. So when we do the delta H for the reaction for the diamond, it would be the sum of the products. So it's basically this number, right? Minus, and maybe, and maybe I'll just write it just so that you guys can see. It's this number, right, minus the sum of the reactants, which is 1.90. Okay, so let's get a number, and maybe we'll just put it over here. All right, so let's see. So negative 393.51 minus 1.9. I get a, a total of a negative 3, and maybe, hold on. Hold on guys, I just need a little bit more room. So maybe what I'll do is I'll just, hopefully I don't catch the question. Ah, beautiful. So delta H for this reaction, for this combustion, is negative 395.41. Okay, and that's kilojoules per mole, right? Kj per m. All right, so now we just need to find out what's the combustion of the graphite now. So this is where we're going to be combining these two formulas together. Now what I can do is since I have the delta H value already, I'm just gonna erase the math here because I need to 
uh, get rid of the diamond in this combustion formula and place in the graphite, right? Now they gave me this piece of information. Now look what happens. If I write this formula out, right? So now I have C graphite, which will convert into C diamond. And they gave me a delta H for that, right? They told me that this process takes 100, uh, 1 1.90 kilojoules. Technically it should be per mole. Now look, I have things that are similar on opposite sides. I have a diamond on the reactant side, and then I have a diamond, the carbon diamond, on the product side. Anything that's on the opposite sides always gets canceled. And then, basically, this is Hess's law. If you add these together, if you combine the two formulas together, right, look what's going to happen. Now you have graphite plus O2. So carbon graphite plus O2 yields CO2, right? And now if you do add the equations together, you have to add the delta H's together. So it would be negative 93.5 plus 1.9. And for this one, delta H reaction would be negative 393.51 and kilojoule per mole. Okay, so now we have our two delta H values. The combustion of graphite was a negative 393.51, and the diamond was negative 395.41. Which one produces more heat? Now there's a trick here, guys. Remember, there's no such thing as negative energy. The negative in both of these answers just means that this amount of heat is being released. So always look at it in terms of like a positive value. The negative doesn't mean that it's an actual negative number. It actually means that it's just being released. So out of the two, which produces the more heat? This one produces the more heat because 395.41 kilojoules of heat will be released as opposed to 393.51 kilojoules of heat would be released. So in this case, it would be the diamond, the combustion of the diamond. And there you go. Okay, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for reviewing the video. Let's keep rocking and rolling. Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. If you wanna help us out, please press the subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your classmates, all right? And I'll see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.